How would you like to be able to dress like Elton John? Well, starting today, you can own a piece of his clothing for as little as 15 bucks. 10,000 pieces owned by Elton and his partner, David Furnish, are up for grabs right here in Rockefeller Center. The proceeds going to the Elton John AIDS Foundation. And I was lucky enough to have the rock star himself give me a sneak peek. Known for his outrageous get-ups and designer duds, Elton John is always dressed to the nines. But according to the fashion icon, there comes a time when you have to downsize. And Elton's closet is a way to clean house and raise money for a good cause. You look at it and you think, will I ever wear it again? You think, no, I'm not going to wear that again. Do you have I'll one of these rules where if you haven't worn it in a year, you'll never wear it again? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, there are shoes here that haven't been worn, of course, and clothes here that haven't been worn. But there's some great stuff. I mean, nice Hermes. You're sitting behind one of the prizes. This is a jacket guys on our crew were already looking at. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like a Sunday car coat type thing. Hermes, yeah. You said you told David or the other guys in Atlanta, go through and just take the old stuff. But when I was in that closet in Atlanta, there was one section in particular. It was an entire room that was all Versace. Yeah, that's a whole collection of Versace silk shirts. I have every single silk shirt that he made, probably twice over and sometimes three over. These are outfits by Richard James. Yeah, from Savile Row. And just here, let me grab one or pick one up because yeah. it's interesting. This is really yeah. look pattern on pattern to Paisley the fullest. On Paisley. It's um, Aubrey Beardsley gone mad. And um, it, Richard just, I said, Richard, design me some silk things um, that are crazy. About three or four years ago, I did a milk campaign. You know, they got milk. Yeah. And, um, and then I wore one on the Grammys with Eminem. Uh, and this one's iconic, I think, Elvis. This one right here. Take a look at this. I mean, I think I've probably seen you in that one. Yeah, you probably have. That was a stage outfit. So um, I probably wore that in Madison Square Garden sometime. So how much is left? What's left in Atlanta? What's left in London? There's, actually, there's not much left in Atlanta, to be honest with you. We just had a really good clear out. Um, because I'm never going to wear these kind of colorful clothes again. <laughs> All the proceeds from the sale will go to the Elton John AIDS Foundation, which has raised $100 million since Elton started it in 1992. We were just excited when we first got our, I think our first event raised about $300,000 and we could not believe that we'd raised so much money. Um, it's all about learning experience um, and every year we've earned a little bit more and last year was the record for us in America raising money. We raised nine million. Let me ask you a little bit about personally happy. All right. In December, Elton John and his partner, David Furnish, made it official with a civil ceremony, one of the first for same-sex couples in England. It made us feel really happy and contented um, because, you know, up until that day, we, we had no security in our relationship. And the security that, that bought us, like... Um, legal you know, security? You had emotional security. I had emotional, emotional security, but no legal security. This was a civil union for two people of the same sex who really loved each other and wanted to be with each other forever. Um, and who wanted to protect, you know, I want to protect David and he wants to protect me. So it, we felt great. It was one of the happiest days of my life. And for people who were expecting you to come walking out of that ceremony in the wild outfit, you no. toned down. No, 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 no. I didn't want, to, I didn't want the, the civil union to be like that. Um, um, I wanted to be really, you know, we could have gone one way or the other. And, you know, our life uh, together is very um, sacred to me. And we wanted it to be really um, reserved and dignified. Together, they share a love of shopping. David spent more than three days sorting through their closets and included some of his favorite pieces in the collection. We enjoy shopping. Um, fashion is a celebration of life for us. We have relationships with a lot of designers. Um, a lot of those designers make us things and give us things. And you don't need all those things in your life. And when you think about what the money raised can do for the foundation, it makes the decision very easy in terms of what you're going to get rid of. If you're walking down the street one day and you see some guy walking at you in your <laughs> coat, you'll smile because... I will. And, and actually, Alton tells stories. We've, we've held these sales before, and a lot of his fans come to get sort of collector's items and keepsakes. And he says it's the strangest feeling in the world when he's sitting on stage behind the piano and the front row is full of his fans <laughs> wearing his old clothes. <laughs> Even if he's not touring, Elton keeps busy. This time, he's headed back to Broadway, teaming up with longtime writing partner Bernie Taupin for the new musical, Lestat. I'm so pleased with the songs we've written and the work that's been put in. It's a difficult subject, you know, vampires. Um, but there's no garlic flying around and no crosses, you know, being hammered into people's chests. It's a really beautiful show. Uh, most importantly for the moment, just the, some amazing clothes yeah. around us. Come, come and buy these clothes and give people a chance to have a better life.